there, my artists. Today we're going to learn about the American artist Jeff Koons and his pop culture sculptures. His sculptures are made of stainless steel with colorful mirrored finishes. Jeff Koons is best known for his large balloon dog sculptures. Alrighty guys, so we're going to get started with a smallish piece of paper. I'm going to start off by drawing the head of our balloon dog. I'm going to lightly sketch a small oval. Once you're happy with that shape, we can draw our little tie. So this is going to be like an hourglass shape with a tiny oval on top. This is gonna be our dog's nose. Then we're going to draw a small curve on the other side of the oval and then another curve going down and around. This curve is going to be a little bit bigger and it's going to be the dog's neck. Once you're happy with that oval, we're going to draw the next leg kind of poking out behind. So I'm just going to have the very bottom part of the leg coming out and back up. Now we're going to move on to the back. So our line is going to dip down and it's going to curve around. This shape kind of reminds me of a hot dog. That line is going to curve all the way back and it's going to touch at our front right leg. Next we're moving on to the back legs. Our back leg is going to start midway at that back curve. It's going to curve out and around, and I actually messed up at this part. I drew my leg a little bit too long, so I'm going to draw a little guiding line showing me where the bottom foot should touch on the ground. Now, this uh, oval shape is going to curve out and back in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that line because it is a mistake. So, I'm gonna move on and make the other back leg kind of poking out it's going to curve out and back up. Moving on to the tail, I'm going to start by drawing a half circle on the very back of our balloon dog. Then I'm going to be drawing a line going up the middle and it's going to kind of curve at the very top. So it's gonna curve at the top and come back around. Next, we're going to finish off the dog by making the ears, and halfway in that oval, I'm going to be drawing a kind of vertical line going up, and it's going to curve out and around. Now, that line is going to kind of meet where the neck of our dog meets the bottom of that oval. Then I'm going to have the right ear kind of poking out on the other side. So now that our pencil sketch is finished, we're going to go ahead and trace all of our pencil lines using a Sharpie marker. Make sure that you carefully trace all of your lines and when you're finished, erase any pencil lines that are still showing. All right, so for this next part, I'm going to actually skip ahead and show you some of our color options for painting our balloon dogs. So I did a couple different examples just to kind of get the hang of it. Um, so when you're picking your colors, we want to pick two colors that kind of are friendly that sit next to each other on the color wheel. So I decided to paint this beautiful pink fuchsia color and um, I'm gonna be painting that all over my balloon dog to start with. So I want you to pick one color to paint your balloon dog with, and then we're going to pick another color for the shadow. Once you've finished painting your first color, give it a little bit of time to dry before we start painting on our shadows. So 
So now it's time for our shadows. I am using blue paint because blue and pink make purple. Um, and those are analogous colors. They sit next to each other on the color wheel. Now I'm going to be painting my shadows on the left side of my blue dog. Um, we have one light source, so it makes sense that we would only have shadows going one way. Um, so I'm going to try and paint my shadows on the left side of my leg and my tail in places where it would make sense, where you think a shadow would be. Um, my next shadow is going to be on the left side of that back leg and um, on the underside of the belly of the dog. Now, just like we did with the back legs, our front legs, our shadows are gonna be going the same way. So it's gonna be on the left side of the front leg, and then um, it's gonna be on the left side of that inside leg. Now on to the like neck chest area for the balloon dog. Just like we did with the body, our shadow is going to kind of sit on the underside of that kind of circle oval shape. Then for the oval head, it's going to be on the underside of that shape. And finally, for the ears, our shadows are going to sit on the left side of either of those shapes. Now, we're going to give our picture even more time to dry after this step before we add the highlight. Now that my painting is completely dry, I'm going to be using some white tempera paint and a very small detail brush to add my highlights. Um, you really don't need a lot of paint for this step. We're just going to do just some little highlights that fit in the areas. Um, just remember a little bit goes a long way. We don't need to paint big highlights for these. Um, and if it helps, you can look at some reference pictures of our Jeff Koons sculptures. If need be, you can go back and touch up those white highlights with a little extra paint. I found that some of my highlights weren't as bright of a white as I wanted, so I just kind of touched them up. Alrighty guys, so that is how you make a Jeff Koons inspired balloon dog. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these, and I can't wait to see what you guys create.